this year's theme is resilience, something all of us around the globe have understood the deep need for, specifically over recent months. And for many, digging deep to find that resilience has been a challenging experience. But for those who have been affected by HIV and AIDS, the examples of resilience within oneself and within the community has been felt and fostered for decades. At Centre Bali, we see the resilience of young people every single day, which is why I've been inspired each day since founding a non-profit organisation with Princesa of Lesotho in 2006. As you're about to see, these young people are willing to speak out against injustice, be role models to their peers, support HIV prevention and challenge limiting systems in the hope of a more inclusive and accepting environment for all. And when they face setbacks, they not only push back, but they bounce back. They are resilience personified. We all succeed when they are empowered. And I want to share some of their voices with you now. My name is Akawasi Salamarumo. I am 24 years old and I was born in the northwest of Botswana in Mau. I am a Sintabale Lechit lead advocate who has been living with HIV for a little over 16 years now. To me, resilience is having intentional victories against HIV despite all other life problems. It also means that you choose to accept your HIV status and have good adherence with your ARVs. It also means putting young people at the forefront of decision-making on HIV issues that affect them. Resilience means that you are going to live life beyond HIV and not be limited by a virus. I am Resilience. My name is Khatabile Sareta, age 22, 12 years HIV activist, youth advocate in Sinti Valley, from the mountain kingdom with peace and stability. When I first started my treatment, my CD4 count was two. Mind you, nobody believed I could make it. But that's when I became more resilient. I started believing so much in myself, also believing that the ARVs are really going to help me. I started having positive thoughts regardless of people's thinking ability regarding my CD4 count. I also became more resilient through the support system that I got from my family in Sinti Valley. Young people living with or those affected by HIV are not just the future, but we are the present. We are the leadership and we are resilient. Thank you. So, as you can see from those powerful stories, when we come together, when we work together and uplift one another, no one gets left behind. So, Join Rutabile and Sekabo and share your stories of resilience on this special interactive platform, where you'll join thousands of others across the world doing exactly the same. Let's unite as one through our shared resilience, proving that together we are stronger, and together we can truly overcome anything.